This is where I stayed last night at a little hotel in the middle of Kamaraska that presents itself as a microbrewery. So it was a bit tricky to find entrances around on the side. Um, and you have to be here before seven because they lock up tight at seven. Good thing I got here before seven. Uh, it was basic, but it was good. And the staff were really accommodating. I really appreciated that. Heading out early in the morning. Riviere de Luc is 38 kilometers away. I have to stop in there. Fortunately, it's right on the main road. Had a Canadian tire, buy a cheap replacement tent. That'll get me through the next two days of camping. Uh, I got a couple of spots already booked. The first one's a 77 kilometer ride. So that's today. So it's gonna be a long day. Nothing I haven't handled before. And also I'll be biking half of it without my tent. I've left my tent back at the uh, Akamaraska. I'll pick it up when I come pick up my bike later on in the week. So that's the plan for now. Oh, that's one small harbor. Berceau de Camarasca. Now you know as much about this place as I do. It's another Lateranian cross. I almost went right by it. Looks like a fairly popular hiking trail to judge by the cars parked in the parking lot. And I can see why it would be pretty cool to be up there. You have a really good view over the river. That was St. Andrew. It's just after 10, traffic's picked up. It's bearable. I was hoping that there'd be a store there with some water, but there was no store. So glad I didn't absolutely count on it. Next uh, stop is uh, Riviere de Loup. It's like I've hit the mother load of Laterarians. Notre Dame du Portage. Well, I've been with La Route Verte 1 all the way from the beginning since Montreal. I've sworn at it up and down, but it looks like it finishes before I do. Anyhow, I've reached Riviere de Loup. Okay, this is the replacement tent. Nothing that I want in a tent, but <laughs> It's a tent. Riviere de Luz got a lot of character and I personally enjoy it. This bit coming out of Riviere de Luz to the east is a nasty piece of road, especially for cyclists. And at least on this day, drivers are not attentive at all. Nasty. So, it didn't end after all. And of course it comes back with hills. So I got some light rain now. It's a lot cooler, a lot more pleasant. 
making some decent time. Yeah, that's Route Vera 1 taking a detour off the highway. I think the people who designed that route have an odd sense of humor. Because it's going to go up that hill, along it a little bit, and then straight back down to this highway. Yeah, you got to pick your following of route number one, Vera number one, carefully. So that's pretty clearly sedimentary rock along there. You can see all the different layers. It's pretty cool. I think all the centuries, millennia, would have taken to, to form that. This is the river at Lille Ver, which is also the place where we saw the sedimentary rock just a second ago. It's a national wildlife reserve, uh, coastal wildlife reserve. This is about as far inland as it gets. Beautiful spot. This here is where uh, Route Ver 1 comes out after having gone up and down a bunch of hills. And then it crosses that bridge and then there's a path along there and it disappears into those woods. Now, if you're crossing the country on a mountain bike, that might be fantastic. But take it from me, who's followed Route Ver 1 from Montreal to this point, be careful when it takes you off the road because it's up to nothing good. <laughs> This is the town site of Il Ver, uh, just behind the church. Probably most people don't even see this part of it. Sat on the steps eating a sandwich and an orange and I looked around. And it just seemed to me this is about as Canadian a town as you could get, as Quebecois a town as you could get. It's just... This is the kind of place that I grew up. It's the Moulin de Petit Sioux. So, I've arrived 80 some kilometers to get here. Good ride today, although kind of tired. There's the replacement tent set up. Um, pretty similar to design to the uh, Big Agnes. It's heavier, obviously, a couple pounds heavier, like five pounds instead of three or whatever the Big Agnes is. Um, very similar pull over and then fly over the poles. Difference is the ridge pole across the top. Looks like it will certainly be satisfactory, so bonus. Another fine gourmet meal on the cooker. Notice I put this on the seat, not the table. That's because if I knock it off, and eventually I'll knock it off, I want it to fall to the ground and not on me. So this is the end of day 14. I've got about, well, I've got exactly two more days left, uh, 15 and 16. And I'm about 80 kilometers from Ramuski now. And I have a campsite planned almost exactly halfway in between them um, at kilometer 40. So that's what I'm gonna be doing each of the last two days compared to today when I did just a little over 80. So I could make it to Rimouski tomorrow, but why kill myself? I only needed to get there on Sunday, so. And uh, I will, if everything works out.
Kind ducks. Always nice to see ducks. Yeah. You're so cute.